All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today is April 10th, 2013. It's my wife's birthday. Happy birthday. Um, let, me, <laughs> let me tell you what happened on my wife's birthday today. We'll go over the results. Uh, we were minus 7 ticks on gold, minus 9 ticks on crude oil, and plus 16 ticks on the Russell. That is how our day went. So if you add all those things up, it comes out to nothing. Um, we were flat on the day. However, and you see right here, this is important that you see this, we did take 14 trades. So if you apply the $8 commission, you know, that brings us down well, from yesterday's total, where we were at $1,723 um, after commission. Today you had 14 trades, and we are at $1,611 after commission. But on the day, we were flat. We were break-even on the day as far as the uh, number of ticks gained. Okay, um, We are still at $2,395 um, $2, per contract in the live trading room on ticks gained in the live trading room. All right. Um, over here, you can see the yellow, uh, the yellow bar right here, is the second yellow bar that we've had this year. What yellow means, the yellow line, means we had a break-even day. We did have one red one up here too in February. Okay. The month of March was all green. The month of January was all green. But in February we had a red and a yellow, and in March so far we've had one yellow. Um, hopefully that won't happen again. But you know what? If it does. We're still way up, and we're still on target to uh, to do better than we did last month. Um, that said, let's let's move on to other stuff. If you have not taken a free trial with us, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. Sign up for the free trial. In the free trial, you get access to our live trading room. You get access to our our whole charting platform, uh, the charting platform, the indicators, everything. You get access to um, to Dwayne and myself. Uh, you know, if you have questions, you can you can ask us questions. You can email us. You can call us. All that sort of stuff, and that's all part of yeah yeah. You even get your own charts, Frank, and that's all part of the free trial. Um, you get that stuff for five business days. All right, after five business days, you have to make a decision if you like it or not, if it's for you. Um, hopefully, it is. But if it's not, we understand. Let's see um, the trades that I took. I'll start out with crude. Okay, we took, actually we took a bunch of trades in crude. And we're minus 9 ticks on crude. Now, I took a bunch of trades that gave me profit, and then I didn't take the profit. You know, it gave me 4 or 5 ticks profit a bunch of times, and I didn't take profit. This one right here, for instance, I shorted it right here. It gave me like 6 ticks profit. I don't know why my stop wasn't a break even on that thing, but uh, it should have been. <laughs> And I ended up stopping out on that. Now, that is not a good thing. Right here uh, was a short trade right there that I took a couple ticks profit on. So I was plus two ticks there. There were a couple times today, actually. There were a couple times today where I was plus eight ticks overall. I was plus eight ticks you know, on closed trades. And I had more than two points profit on open trades, but I didn't take the profit. Um, the next trade we had was over here. We ended up with a break-even. This one over here, we ended up taking some profit. Not all of it, but some of it. And then we had the crude inventories come out, and you can see what happened. All these bars were all within the same minute on the crude inventories. Okay, all the way over to here. There was a trade right here. Um, this was an area that I had outlined in here. I hadn't taken a trade, but there was an area in here that I had outlined. Uh, the spot to short it would have been right in here. And that dropped down. I would have gotten a break even on that had I been trading it. I would have moved my stop to break even on the close below the MA1. Um, there was a trade right in here. Now, this one went four ticks, and it looks like it went four ticks. Or, you know what, I don't think it went four ticks for me because I got in on a on a buy stop. So it only went three ticks for me. That's why I didn't have my stop at break even. All right, so the thing turned around to stop me out. I missed a trade here, there, and there. Any one of those would have made me break even. Um, I grabbed a trade in here. I ended up taking a break even on. Okay, I ended up taking a break even on that one. Missed a trade in there that I would have had a break even. 
and there and there and there. Any one of those would have put me profitable, but I missed all of those. And I don't know why I missed so many trades today. But I did. Nevertheless, I did. I don't know. Um, that was crude oil. All right, so we were down nine ticks on crude at the <laughs> Yeah, that's it, Brad, <laughs> because my arm fell asleep. That was pretty early on that my arm fell asleep. It came back to life, you know. I couldn't feel it again after a while. <laughs> um, that was cr <laughs> that was crude. Now on the Russell, we had some pretty good trades on the Russell here. Oops, I don't know what's happening there. We had some pretty good trades on the Russell that we took. Um, again, we we have we were plus 16 on the Russell. Um, our first trade was right in here. We got long in here. We took some profit up here, but we missed this trade here where we could have easily taken, you know, our two points right there. Um, this one right here had put us uh, had put us up on the Russell. I think we were up six ticks after this trade right here on the Russell. And then we took this trade right in here with a break even. You can see that that one went up pretty well. Um, over here, there was well, there wasn't really any divergence there. There was a long trade that we took in here that put us up higher. I don't know how much higher. I think that was was that ten ticks. I think it was. That was a ten tick trade right there. And another one right here that we took a break even on that definitely would have given us the two points that we needed. Um, I remember I was in at eighty. Uh, 8.4, is that right? 7.4 to 8.4 is what I was looking for on that. And it went all the way up to 9.9. .9. Right, I'm pretty sure we were in there. Yeah, 7.4. I had a buy stop on at 7.4 on that. Um, that was it. That was it for the Russell. We were plus 16 ticks on the Russell this morning. Okay. If you're in here and this is the first time you're seeing these trades, in the live trading room we do it a lot... I don't. I won't see. We do it a lot slower. But in the live trading room, I go over the setups as they're happening, um, and I try my best to let you guys know what is really going on. Um, you know, as it's happening, I try to try to keep everyone aware or in tune with the events that are going on. Now, this one right here, we were short right here. We ended up taking a break even on it. I. Uh, <laughs> That would have been one of those great trades that just broke out of the box. Uh, 15.75.4, and it dropped all the way down to 15.72.2. That's 32 ticks or $320 a contract in a couple of seconds. Um, I don't know what made it drop like that, but this is gold anyway. We're, we ended up the day minus 7 on gold. Uh, this was our first trade. We ended up with, I think we ended up break even on that. We got a couple of ticks profit on this. We lost this one. We... Not sure why my arrows are the other way around here. I think we um, we lost that one. I think we made profit on that one. And we made profit on that one. No, we we must have lost that one too. Made a little profit on that one. Made some better profit on that one. Lost this one. Um, it was just rough trading for for me in the gold today. I tried to tell everyone early on that the gold was uh, was not was not acting rationally, and I think it has something to do with um, with the the meeting minutes being released untimely. You know, it was a surprise that they were released over here this morning. That's probably what made this happen right in here when they were uh, made available to everyone. So, that's it. Um, that was it on gold. All right. We ended up minus 7 ticks on gold, minus 9 ticks on crude, plus 16 ticks on the Russell. Um, you know, there were more trades in here to go over. But I know we have a whole bunch of guests today, so I am not going to drag out the recap today. Um, we did have, it was a break-even day. This is our second break-even day this year. We did have one down day this year, too. Um, but we are on you know, the 10th day of April. Does anybody know what the Julian date is? Does anybody, does anybody know what, what day of the year it is, how many days we've had? Uh, there's about 20 there, about 20 there, about 20 there, 60, about 70 days. So... Two out of 70 days we were break even, and one out of 70 we had a loss. Or one out of 67, I guess. Um, not too bad. But that that is what happened in the live trading room this morning. Now, crude oil and the, I'm not crude oil, but the yen, the soybeans, there was a big grain report coming out today, so we didn't really pay attention to the soybeans. Um, I'll blow this up so you can see. Big grain report just came out a few minutes ago. Right here. You see this huge move up right here? And then <laughs> the subsequent huge move down. Um, and now they're jumping all over the place. 
So, uh, you know, could you trade it? Well, yeah, you could trade it if you wanted to. Should you trade it? Probably not. I would say, no, just sit on your hands. Um, you know, when when it was coming together, right about, you know, right before the, uh, right before the news event, there is a way to play this if you wanted to, but I'll go over that in the partners meeting. Um, and I, I did that last week, I think it was Friday, um, when, when we had some news events in the morning on Friday. But anyway, become a partner. Get into the partners meeting tomorrow night and, and you'll learn all about it. Um, how to make a thousand bucks in a second. <laughs> Just kidding. That's what was available on Friday with the things that I showed. But, uh, but that obviously is not available all the time. And not everyone can do that. Disclaimer. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Right here we have uh, the soybeans. We didn't do anything with the NQ, though the NQ had some nice opportunities today. Um, you can see we highlighted a few of them in there. You see? I'll show you the bigger picture. All right. Um, there was one. There was one. There was one. I'm sure there was another one in here, probably. There was one over here on the short side that wouldn't have worked. Um, but there were some great moves there. The ES, even the ES today, our pokey little friend, the ES, um, started out the day right here with an easy two-point move up. I pointed out to everyone, had a follow-up over here with another two-point move, at least two points, another one here, another one here, another one here, and we didn't have any divergence over here for the move up. So it was one, two, three, four, five moves on the ES. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five moves on the ES that all resulted in at least two points. Okay, using the same exact platform, I'm the same exact setup, the same exact indicators, same time frame, same everything. That is that is what uh, is what we do in here. We use the same exact setup, the same indicators, and the same time frame across all the markets. All right, that way it's uh, it's much easier for you to just keep track of one thing. Like right here on gold, there was a shorting opportunity right there. There was a shorting opportunity right there. Um, even up here there on this down move here on the gold that just happened all right that right there is a day's work and that happened in the last 10 minutes and it's happening again it's still happening right here you see you can draw a trend line up the bottoms as this is happening right here you draw a trend line up the bottoms you see the divergence down here then you just look for a down close below the trend line that's it a down close on the current bar below the trend line would be something you'd be looking for here and there it is um, that's what you would be looking for in that trade Okay. Um, let's see what else. What else do we have? I think, I think that's pretty much it. If you took that trade right there, if any of the partners took that trade right there, you're looking at a double bottom right here. You should have your stop at break even. No risk on the trade at this point. Looking for the green line to get down into the cycle. Okay, it could stop here and move up. Um, all right. It was a nice trade over here on the yen, though I didn't cover the yen all that much today because the yen and the euro were just messy. They just weren't very good trading today. Um, but right here, just a few minutes ago, there was a trade here on the yen. Um, you had the bearish cross, test of the BBC, the down close, and a bearish reversion. So you would have entered right up here on the yen at 45. Okay. Um, let's see. Did we have something on the euro, Frank? We're going right into a weekly trading zone on the euro, so there wouldn't be anything that you do over there. All right, that's it, I think. Um, if you have not taken the free trial with us, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply, sign up for the free trial. If you have taken the free trial and you want to become a partner, send us a quick email at support at cfrn.net, and we will get back to you. What is it, Andrew? Um... We have a partners meeting tomorrow night, every Thursday night. It did, Andrew, it definitely did go Vortex. The entry was right here at 64.7. It dropped down to 64.2. Five ticks. Stopped to break even. Okay, buddy. Um, let's see. 
Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. I can shut off the recording here. All right, that's it, guys.